and welcome to episode 45 of my quest to play Norway perfectly on GeoGuessr. That is, to play maps of each and every single one of Norway's 356 communes to 25,000 points on GeoGuessr. Today we have made it to the commune of Lillehammer. Now Lillehammer was the host city of the 1994 Winter Olympics and uh, it is situated where the largest lake in Norway, the Mjösa, meets up with the longest valley in Norway, the Gudbrandsdal Valley, which goes like all the way up like here. And uh, while Lillehammer is not a very large commune in terms of size, it does sort of stretch out from the lowlands and up into the mountains. So unless we're locked on the E6 for much of this playthrough, which we should be seeing a number of interesting spots, I think. But, well, as always, first we'll have a little look at some facts about Lillehammer Commune. Now, as chance would have it, the draw I made when I made my listing of communes for, or rather the order that the communes should be played in, it just so happened that Lillehammer came after its neighbor commune of Jövik, which you saw or could have seen yesterday in episode 44, which is down here. And uh, the border goes roughly around here. At least so Jövik is on the western side and then the commune of Ringsaker is down here. While Lillehammer is roughly this area here. Now, we are on a pedestrian bridge across the northern end of Lake Mjösa. So I guess we're on this one. So we've got Lillehammer on this side and the suburb of Vingnes on the other side. Now this is going to be tough. Uh, I hope the person who is wielding the Google Cam on this is riding a bicycle and able to maintain a relatively stable speed because I don't have any proper guides to go by. Of course, I could possibly use some buildings, but they're all very far away. Although that building there that building there, those two might actually eliminate the need for me to do a count, a long and painstaking count here. So um, I will assume that this is that building. Now let's see, what other buildings can we see? There's one further back. There's actually a couple further back. Let's see. Mm, so that's straight eastwards. And we have this building here, which might be that one. But I think, I think I'm going to be brave. So we see it's like maybe half the width of the house. So. We are north of the house by about half the width of the house. Let's see if we can make this happen. So that should put us about there on the bridge, I think. Now, how happy am I with that? That puts us more or less smack in the middle of the bridge. Could be interesting to do a count just for some sort of confirmation. Let's count until we hit the shore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Getting closer. 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32, and 30, yeah, 32. Oh, this is going to be a lot of counting, so 32 that way, and how far the other way? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. And it just occurred to me, this red mark, red yellow marking here, could well be marking the center point of the bridge, which very much looks like that we are at here. So let's let's just make sure we're on the bridge first. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad, does it? Oh, well, 21 meters away so it was very near to being very bad, but we got away with it. And it looks like we have just moved slightly further north. We got this bridge over here, which I suspect is this bridge. So, yeah, this bridge here. So if we... I think I want to head down here and see if there's a Circle K station. So let's go back around the bend. This one is not going to be an easy one either to pinpoint. So let's see, there should be a Circle K here. Oh wow, this is old. This is actually from before, yeah, this image is very old. This is from before the Statoil stations changed or rather the stations themselves were handed over to the, the Circle K franchise. So and that's well old. So yeah, but well, that means that we are indeed here. And this is also going to be a tricky one. Let's see. Well, that little promontory over there. And we are when we're looking north, we're looking slightly inside the point of it, and it must be that one. So if we go like so, and say that we are roughly there. Now let's see. Yeah, we're pretty much on the north-south apex of this curve, aren't we? Yeah, that looks about right. And we are... Yeah, we're slightly south of where that comes in. I think we'll just have to go with this. Mm hmm. Well, that's a pretty sky. Let's see if it's a pretty guess. Pretty enough, but uh, oof, 34 meters away on the first two tries. That doesn't make me very happy. Okay. So at least here we got an access road, which I hope will show on the map, because as you might know by now, counting between bends and particularly on long straights is not my favorite. So here we're heading south. Could the lake be down here, given that this road is so long and straight? So it could be this road, possibly. And if it is, we might be better off going northwards. Let's see. And the coming doesn't reach all that far south. So... I don't know, it could possibly be here. No, because the world curves. Um, well, we'll see. 
has a name of something. Uh, just the raw street numbers. But it is a road very much resembling this, I would say. And if it is, it doesn't look too wrong, does it? Let's see if we can see the other access roads here. Okay, so here's the, here's the lake. We should be coming on an access road to those houses down there. Got a large house there. We got a barn and some small buildings. And that seems to match very nicely, doesn't it? And let's see, we got hmm, we got an access road going up here. That will match with that one. Did I miss the access road to the this entirely? Oh, the, oh, here it is. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. So then we got this one, which goes down the goes down here. And then there is no access road until we get to where we started, was which was about here. So we're on this. Oh, close to that road there and actually kind of looks like we're almost right on top of this stream that goes across underneath here so i would say if i had put the market there well there that shouldn't be horribly wrong should it can't see any houses or anything unfortunately but i would say that's a fairly good one and it was nice Round number four, and I guess we are downtown, or at least somewhere in the city. And it looks like we are on the western side of the of the river. Oh, sorry, the eastern side of the lake, and in a commercial area. So we got some repair shops down this road or up, as down will be south. Mm. Yeah, let's look northwards and see if we can find any crossroads. Oh, yeah, this bus stop looks to have a name on it. Snäckervägen, the carpenter road, and we're coming up to crossroads here. That could provide us with even more information. It's probably this one. Okay, so there's a Yusk. Okay, Industrigata. Okay, so that Snäckervägen was probably the road coming down there. So the Industry Street, let's see. That's probably one of these north south roads going on. Oh, well, northwest roads, southeast. So here we have the steam sawmill road. That looks very much like a residential area. So it could be like up here. Hmm. Industry Gata. Yes. So let's see, we were next to, so there was a sign for this bit, for Sullen Beal Center. Let's hop back where we were. And we are right next to this Ford dealership. Oh, this is Sullen Beal Center, okay, right. Right, 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 so we are on this crossroads, or intersection, or what you want to call it. And we are looking. Okay, well, it's not really very helpful. Neither is well. We're looking just past this corner. So if we put, just say, like so, and put the market down there where it already is. Uh, I'm 
gonna go with gonna go with that three meters away okay so far turning into a quick playthrough let's see what the last round has for me this should also be possible to find out mm, kind of looks a little suburban or well not quite on the main roads but let's see so we are on let's see we're on the western side and now we're north of the city so we're somewhere up here and this road will take us to Hunderfoss and the rock carving and the other way will take the north road so will take us to Forberg which is up here so I guess this will probably fit the bill does this road have any name? No. There's that little sign there that says Road 319, but unfortunately this doesn't carry a name or a number rather. But yeah, if we go northwards, we'll wind up in Forberg. And if you go southwards, you'll meet the E6 and the 255. Not the 253. It's the 255 then. That's odd. We'll definitely come up on the 253. Hmm. Well, it does say two kilometers to, to, to Hinderfossen. Was it? No, it's two kilometers to the rock carvings. Which are probably. Oh, here are the rock carvings. Yes, we have to be. We have to be. Yeah, of course, that's a that little lake on the inside of the road as well. And the weather is much more pleasant on, the, on this road than on that road. So here we are. Most likely late autumn. Well, here we are in the fullness of summer. <laughs> uh, let's see. So we've got an access road here. That's probably that one. And um, mm. can we use that house in the woods as a guide of sorts? Looking slightly northwest, northwest a bit. Which would that be? If I'm looking northwest, it would well, will be that one. And then there's the edge of the lake, and we got a bit of lake past us. So, are we done with this bend, by the way? Yeah, we have just finished the bend. I was say just, I mean just. So it should be... Should be roughly there, I think. That makes a nice little northwest thingy. Let's put it... Oh. I think that's brave, but uh, let's put it right where the bend ends before it starts curving back. Let's try that. <laughs> One meter away. Well, Lillehammer, we never got to see your mountain a bit. It was all centered around the lake and the city and the river. But then again, that made for a nice and easy playthrough. Okay, that is that episode in the box. Hope to see you again for the next episode tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye.